as long as you consistently bring people's attention, sweep attention to the central element of your message, the goal of your message, they're not going to blank on it. Sweeping, changing attention produces something called an orienting response in the brain. There's something called the O-wave. You orient. Every time you change it, you orient anew. And it produces new focus and new import on whatever the focus lands on. So you have to arrange so that this message that you present at the, op, at the top, there are repeats of that message or that image throughout your website, throughout your email, throughout your website. You have to begin with it first, but then you have to come back to it. It's a booster shot. And if that booster shot is, re is, is relevant to your most fundamental element of your case, it will become more uh, important. It will lead to assent. All right. Now, here's why I like this study. The researchers said to themselves, all right, so this is how we generate top performance in others. How about certain situations, though, in which high energy, um, dr driven stamina and persistence is not what leads to high performance. How about when you've got a difficult problem that you have to solve? It's complex. Right? You need to step back and think hard about it. You need to be thoughtful, deliberative, analytic, right, in order to solve this problem. Right? It might be the difference between first recruiting and marshalling a lot of evidence, a lot of data. You have to go and search and, and find it, keep at it until you've got it all. But that's not the same as having to analyze it now. When you have to analyze all those, those data points, right, now you have to think hard about it. It's not just energy. Right? So they did another study. This time, the task was to solve 12 business problems, difficult, complex business problems that students and business students were given at a university. And one group of these students had in the corner of the screen, as they were solving these problems, a control image. The one that a lot of us have as our uh, background wallpaper or our screensavers. It was a, an image, just a nature scene. Calms us out. The other, another group of them got the runner winning the race. Let's see how it does on this difficult problem, this complex problem. But a third got an image that was designed to be associated with thoughtfulness. Any idea what that might be? Rodin's the thinker. Now, the question is, how many of the 12 problems do the students successfully complete in the period of time they were given? Nature scene, about six and a half, 6.6. .6. The runner winning the race, not, not a significant deflection at all. 7.1, right? not significant, not reliable. But the thinker, 
slowly up to 48% better performance. So you can see how we have to be tactical about how we use persuasion. What we do first has to be associated with our major goal. That's what's going to cause people to see it as most important and to act in ways that are congruent with it. 